For waterproofing of roofs in new construction, I use the traditional waterproofing systems like brick bat coba. But I find that over time, cracks appear on the roof and cause dampness in the room below. Can you suggest any solution? Well, Nitin, technically traditional systems cannot be called waterproofing barriers. As you know, the terrace slab undergoes continual expansion and contraction due to temperature variations through the day. Since the brick bat coba system is not flexible, it cracks due to these thermal movements of the terrace slab. Water then goes through these cracks and collects on the terrace slab, from where it finds its way into the room below. Therefore, terraces that have a high level of activity must necessarily have a waterproof specification that is tough, can take a lot of stress, is highly durable and yet offers a watertight treatment. Dr. Fixit has an excellent solution to stop leakages from such terraces. Dr. Fixit Tot Shield A range of bitumen-based polymer-modified heavy-duty waterproof membranes that have been successfully used in the extremely harsh weather conditions of India. Tot Shield provides a heavy-duty watertight system which has high tensile strength, tear resistance and puncture resistance. It can take thermal and structural stresses effectively, thus giving you a long-life, durable membrane. Torch Shield seems to be an excellent product for waterproofing of roofs with high level of activity. But tell me, can this be used for other waterproofing requirements as well? Well, Torch Shield is extremely suitable for waterproof treatment and protection of below-the-ground concrete used for basements, foundations and retaining walls as well as for bridge decks and tunnels. Let us see how to fix torch shield on a new RCC slab starting with surface preparation. At all changes in direction of substrate from horizontal to vertical, sand cement angle fillets must be created. The application surface should be cleaned to remove all loose material. Using a roller or brush, Apply a coat of Dr. Fix-It Torch Shield Primer, undiluted. Cover the entire area. Allow this to dry for 6 to 8 hours. The laying of the Dr. Fix-It Torch Shield membrane should start with dressing of the water outlets first. Cut a rectangular piece of the Torch Shield membrane. To allow for overlapping, the width of this should be around 4 to 5 centimeters more than the circumference of the drain. For a 100 mm pipe, this width will come to about 36 centimeters. The length of this should be around 20 centimeters. Cut strips of around 2 to 3 centimeters width and length around 10 centimeters. Use a gas torch to heat the underside of the torch shield membrane till the embossing on it disappears. Now roll this cut piece and insert it into the drain up to around 10 cm depth. Press the softened membrane firmly against the substrate to bond it. If there are any vertical pipes for conduits etc, these should be dressed in a similar manner. Cut a rectangular piece of the torch shield membrane. As before, allow 4 to 5 cm for overlapping. The length of this should be around 35 cm. Cut strips of around 2 to 3 cm width and length around 15 cm. Use a gas torch to heat the underside of the torch shield membrane till the embossing on it disappears. Now wrap the heated side of this membrane around the pipe, keeping the cut strips on the substrate as shown. Press the softened membrane firmly against the pipe and the substrate to bond it. We can now carry out the application of the membrane on the terrace slab. The application of torch shield must be started from the drain end, that is the lower end of the slope of the terrace and proceed towards the higher end. 
all the laps must be parallel to the roof so that water is never running against the lap edge. Unroll a roll of Dr. Fixit Torch Shield. To align the roll, one person can stand on one end of the roll while another person shifts the membrane at the other end to help the membrane lay flat and align properly without wrinkles. Now re-roll half the roll of torch shield from one end in alignment. This will ensure that the membrane will remain aligned during the torch welding process. Use a gas torch to heat the substrate and the underside of torch shield till the membrane develops a slight sheen and the embossing and the sacrificial polyethylene film on the underside are completely burnt off. Hold the torch at an angle so that you apply about 80% of heat to the membrane and 20% to the substrate. As a section of the membrane is heated, unroll the roll forward. Press it firmly against the substrate to bond it from the lower end towards the higher end. When the application of one half of the roll is completed, repeat the process on the other half. Re-roll the other half of the torch shield from the other end in alignment, heat it and bond it with the substrate. Take the ends of Dr. Fixit torch shield on the vertical surfaces like the parapet wall around 2 to 3 cm above the angle fillet. Fix the next roll of torch shield as before. In the overlap between the two rolls, keep a margin of at least 150 mm for the end lap. End laps are areas of possible infiltration of water due to an excessive thickness of membrane causing a void. To avoid this problem, before torching the end lap area, cut off the corner piece of the end lap that will be covered by the adjacent roll as shown here. To fix the end lap, heat both the overlaps. Press the top membrane. Allow a bead of bitumen to flow from between the lap seam to a distance of 6 to 8 mm from the membrane edge. The bleed line must be consistent and uninterrupted. Once the entire length of the terrace is covered with the first row, we fix the next row. The rolls in the next row should be staggered so that adjacent end laps do not coincide. Keep an overlap of at least 100 mm for the side lap between adjacent rows of membrane. While heating the membrane, make sure you move the torch flame from side to side in an L shape so that the overlap area of the adjacent membrane is also heated. In the overlap area, press the top membrane. Allow a consistent and uninterrupted bead of bitumen to flow from between the lap seam to a distance of 6 to 8 mm from the membrane edge. To repair laps that are not fully bonded, use a hot round tip trowel to lift the top membrane slightly and lightly torch. Press the membrane to join. When the horizontal surfaces are done, you need to fix Dr. Fixit Torch Shield on the vertical surfaces. For the parapet wall corners, take a piece of the membrane around 35 cm length. From here, we will show the newly added membranes in a different color so that the process is easy to understand. Cut this piece and place it on one wall in the corner as shown up to around 20 cm height from the roof slab. Ensure that there is an overlap with the torch shield membrane on horizontal surfaces of at least 15 cm. The overlap on the other wall should be around 15 cm. Fix it in place by torching. Cut another piece of the membrane around 35 cm length. To avoid excessive thickness due to several layers of the membrane, remove one corner piece. Place this piece on the adjacent wall in the corner as shown. 
fix in place by torching. The overlap on the other wall should be around 15 cm. Around the staircase room, the membrane needs to go up to a height of at least 20 cm on the vertical surfaces and must overlap at least 15 cm on the membranes fixed on the horizontal slab. Fix the membrane in place by torching. Structures like upstands, skylights, etc. are dressed in a similar manner. For expansion joints, fix the membrane on the sides and top of the bun wall up to the joint. After filling the joint with polysulfide sealant, fix a separate strip of the torch shield membrane over the joint. Leave around 2 cm extra length of the membrane free over the joint area to allow for movement of the expansion joint. Fix along the edge by torching. After the application is completed, a flood test may be carried out. For this, first ensure that the terrace slab can take the water load. Check all joints and close all drains. Fill water up to 5 cm height. Keep the water for at least 48 hours. Now check for leakages or dampness in the water outlets from the external side and ceilings in the rooms below. After application of Dr. Fix-It Tot Shield, it should be covered with a screed of thickness at least 40 mm at the drain end in required slope. Add angle fillets on this screed. At the finishing stage, aluminium flashing plates should be attached to protect the vertical edges of the membrane from coming off. The plate is made from a strip which is 10 cm in height, bending 1 cm at either end at 30 degrees as shown. These strips are fixed with stainless steel screws. All vertical surfaces should be covered. The joint between the top of the flashing plate and the parapet wall is then sealed using a polysulfide or polyurethane sealant. On the expansion joint, lay an aluminium sheet cap on top as shown. This should be fastened with stainless steel screws only on one side, leaving the other side free to allow for movement of the expansion joint. Torch shield looks easy to apply, but are there any points that I should be careful about during application? Nitin, just a few simple precautions will ensure that Dr. Fix-It Torch Shield gives service for a long time. Use of a primer is essential. For best results, use the Dr. Fix-It Torch Shield Primer. The side lap between two adjacent layers of Torch Shield should be at least 100 mm and the end lap should be at least 150 mm. On the edges of all overlaps, a bead of at least 6 to 8 mm should be formed. When applying membranes on vertical surfaces like basement retaining walls, the applicator must support the membrane until it has cooled sufficiently to be able to bear its own weight. For Dr. Fix-It Torch Shield AM range of mineral membranes, the sheets should be overlapped by roughly 100 mm on the factory provided selvage edge taking care to not overlap on the mineral coating. Do not overheat the torch shield membrane. That is, avoid heating it to the point where it starts smoking. While bonding overlaps, avoid filling or going back over the overlaps with a hot trowel which could damage the heat-sensitive reinforcement and the design. Always wear flat-soled canvas shoes. Do not wear heavy boots with deep sole patterns while applying torch shield as they may leave deep imprints in the softened membrane. During handling of material, a little care will ensure long life of the application. Torch shield rolls should always be stacked vertically. The rolls should always be stored under cover, protected from sunlight and heat. When keeping on roofs, 
all torch shield rolls should not be kept together at one place. They should be placed in a staggered manner to avoid point load on roofs. During loading and unloading, handle with care. Throwing the rolls from a height or using ropes to tie and lift the rolls may distort their shape or puncture them. With gas torches, common sense precautions should be observed. Always use safety gear such as safety glasses, protective gloves, long sleeve shirts, trousers and canvas shoes. Do not keep the flamed torch on the applied torch shield surface. Is torch shield resistant to UV? No. That is why after application of Dr. Fixit torch shield, it should be covered with a 40 to 50 mm screed. If applying over an old roof and there is very little foot traffic, then protect it with a coat of oxidized vitamin based solar reflective aluminium paint. Alternately, use Dr. Fixit Torch Shield AM range of mineral or slated granule finish membranes as they are UV resistant. Can I use Torch Shield on top of an existing bituminous felt? No. The old bitumen treatment must be completely removed to ensure proper adhesion. I read in your literature that there are two varieties of Torch Shield that is, SBS modified and APP modified. What is the difference? The application method and areas of usage are same for both, with just one difference. Use SBS modified torch shield for areas with climatic temperature less than minus 5 degrees Celsius. APP modified torch shield should be used for areas with climatic temperature above minus 5 degrees Celsius. Everybody must be asking you the same question. Does torch shield cost more than the other waterproofing methods? <laughs> well, Nitin. Everyone does ask me this question. The cost of Torch Shield is at par with other similar membranes. It is also comparable with similar waterproofing systems. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> well then, Nitin, are you now fully convinced about using Torch Shield? Absolutely, sir. And I will recommend it to my contractor friends as well. Well, thank you, Nitin, very much for supporting Dr. Fixit Torch Shield. Remember, Dr. Fixit Torch Shield, an excellent product for waterproofing and protection of roofs, below the ground concrete, bridge decks, and tunnels. For further information, please contact the Dr. Fixit Advice Center.